Hello my loves, how are you doing today? I hope that you're good, that you, your family and your loved ones are happy, happy and safe. So I'm coming back to you today with another pick a card with the reading and in this reading we're gonna see what you are going to be loving the most about your future spouse and also what they're gonna love the most about you. So we have three options. The first one is this beautiful card of the hosta, the flower. The second one is the poppy. And then the third one, which is the camellia. So please choose the option or options that you feel most drawn to. And of course, if you need more time, you can just pause the video and meditate on the cards. And then you can pick the option or options that you uh, feel drawn into picking. So without further ado, for me, I'm gonna uh, jump right into it and start uh, the reading with option number one. Welcome guys to your reading. So first of all, we would like to know what are you gonna love the most about your future spouse? And we're gonna start with you. So what are you gonna love about your future spouse? We're gonna get first of all one major arcana. It's almost like how they're gonna, you're gonna see them or maybe how... Um, it's just one card that is going to be uh, symbolizing them in general, especially in your eyes. So let's get one card. Okay, this one wanted to jump out. And we have the Empress. So it's funny that I have uh, stressed on the fact that um, how are you going to feel uh, about them, especially when it comes to you. And I really have a very strong feeling that this is how you're going to be or how you're going to feel when you're going to be married to this person or what where you're going to be in a relationship with this person so this is the empress card there is lots of abundance that's going to follow after you're going to be with them and also you're going to feel like uh, it's almost like this is uh there is some kind of an equilibrium as in uh there is not uh you don't feel like a, your person are maybe making decisions and uh, you need to follow so you you feel like there is you have a weight in this uh, relationship and also Well, th this is really what I see. Uh, your future spouse might be might have certain love languages that uh, are connected to giving uh, like uh, acts of service or especially giving you lots and lots of gifts. So this is really what you're gonna appreciate, not really in a materialistic way because here we, we have the Empress. This is not the Devil card, but uh, it's something really that is uh, as an example if they're going to be. Um, uh, gifting you a bracelet uh, every time that you're gonna look at this bracelet it's like all the memories that you have been together or maybe there is going to be a story behind that bracelet so I'm not seeing that maybe they're going to be giving you uh, like things that don't matter like as in you're gonna have abundant amounts of bags and shoes or whatever but in everything that is material and very valuable that they're going to be gifting you it's either is going to be having a story behind it or there's going to be a special event behind it so every time that you're gonna feel it in between your hands or every time that you're gonna look at it like very randomly all this love all this uh, warmth uh, from the inside of you is gonna re-emerge all over again so how are you going on or what are you gonna love about your future spouse so my dear option number one what are you gonna love about your future spouse we have the seven of wands so your future spouse is definitely very protective and it doesn't matter if uh, they're going to be criticized by people maybe that uh, their friends, their uh, family members, or because I, I feel lots of spoiling energy to be honest, uh, they're going to be like the kind of a guy, the kind of a girl uh, th that really uh, looks at relationships when they are in harmony, when they're fulfilled. Uh, that they should open up completely and they like they feel in their own environment where they're in a in their giving mood because i see that this person is so much uh, like has so much to offer beyond uh, like material things and also they don't want to feel restricted as in maybe in the past there were some people that took advantage of them and they they really were looking for that person that was not for them for those reasons so that they can open up completely so that they can share whatever they have 
it could be even uh, their thoughts, their ideas, their aspirations, but also when it comes to material things, when it comes to experiences. So this is really what they are uh, looking for and this is what you're gonna really love about them. Uh, and we have here the Empress card, so I see uh, even before you're gonna be with this person, you're gonna be in this um, state of mind that you already have everything, in, but uh, being with them it's uh, like uh, such a good compliment to the energy that you're going to be in already so uh, yeah uh, and uh, with this hangman I see that if there is any kind of argument if there is anything that you feel like there is a, a big difference between you uh, any of your future spouse they have this beautiful capability to see things from your own perspective and then to have this uh, almost compassion or um, see see things not uh, not in a stubborn way that like as in uh, it's my way or the highway but for any argument that you're gonna have or maybe any discussion where you're gonna feel like there is a need to meet in the middle they're gonna be uh, like a person that has this beautiful capability to see things from other people's perspective and this is I'm feeling that it is a quality that they have in general but uh, most importantly uh, when it comes to the uh, to your relationship it it's really is a, a beautiful quality that they're gonna have so let's get one more card oh <laughs> we're gonna take all of them yeah hey, look at that <laughs> at the bottom of the deck we have the pool and uh, let me tell you the uh, message that I have received just when I saw this this card is that uh, you're gonna love about them as well that they're gonna be the parents of your children so it doesn't matter if you're going to be uh, having uh, kids before meeting this person or uh, if you're gonna mix families together but this is an an excellent father uh, for your kids and for your future kids as well so uh, you're gonna feel like you have made the right choice because this person actually brings harmony into the house and if there is any kind of disruptive energy they, they are willing to sit down and talk it out and uh, what you're gonna love about them as well is that harmony peace and um, uh, almost uh, this tranquil state is going to be very important for them and this is what you're gonna love because it's almost like it's something that you have missed or something that you haven't really experienced it could be in your uh, family home uh, like when you were a child or when you were living with your family maybe uh, people were throwing uh, harsh words uh, like uh, left and right and uh, you thought that it, it, if only you could get together uh, in a much healthier way if only we could communicate and this is really the person to have beautiful conversations with so with this magician i see that uh, this is a very empowering card and also uh, with this number one i see that you're not going to lose your individuality when you're going to be in a relationship with this person as i have told you even if we have here the emperor and the emperor and the empress it just symbolizes for me when it comes to your relationship that you really are going to be on the same footing there is not one person that is going to be trying to control the other person or maybe try to push their ideas on the other person but i see mostly that you're going to be in in some kind of a balanced connection where there is no point in the first place to uh like thrive to be the one in power in the household all that matters for you is to have this beautiful and uh, peaceful uh, uh, environment in your home so let's get two more cards okay let's get the first one. Oh, the one in the uh, okay it says interior alchemy uh, mastery spiritual renewal receptivity rejuvenation and um, discriminating uh, knowledge or wisdom 
So what I see in here, my dears, is that as I have told you, both of you right now are almost in a journey and when you're going to be at a certain level in your life, then it's going to be possible for you to meet this person or to be in a relationship with this person. So I see that this relationship has came after lots of spiritual work, lots of inner work, shadow work, whatever you would want to call it, but you have already started to uh, make some valuable steps towards this beautiful harmonious connection. And I I see that on the other side, on the other side of this relationship that you're gonna have, your um, uh, your future spouse are almost doing the same. They're working on themselves. Maybe, as I have told you, because I got very strongly this message, maybe they are very given and they have a very given nature, and uh, people basically took. Uh, advantage of them and uh, like to the max uh, but right now uh, like for the both of you it's all about being in that state where you are going to be uh, able to welcome this connection and also because you have let him go of all kind of limitations or maybe uh, all kind of uh, the residual of maybe a certain traumas or certain events that have happened in the past you are going to be willing to protect this relationship and also to keep it as beautiful and harmonious as it is because if there are certain things that we keep uh, in our uh, mind consciously or subconsciously there is a very a very high chance that we might sabotage the, the very uh, like uh, the thing that we we would want the most or we would need the most so please be patient this is really what i can tell you and also uh, keep working and keep looking towards your north because this relationship is it is gonna happen for you my dears so one more card Oppression. So as I have told you, it's you recognizing the light from the inside of you. It doesn't matter if you're surrounded with uh, with darkness. Uh, just follow your light. Follow your uh, like. Follow your north. Follow the things that are actually going to be uh, putting you on a way to healing, and uh, things are gonna shift for you. Uh, like in a very big way and also with this oppression i see that uh, if you were maybe reluctant to open up to other people maybe that they uh, they they were not really um, ready to understand what you were talking about especially uh, as this uh, uh, option in here is pretty much spiritual i see that you are a very spiritual person uh, not everybody not uh, like uh, your peers or maybe uh, people in your community are going to be able to understand you but uh, you're gonna love you're gonna love and adore that this person are going to be almost uh, not only understanding you but they have been through the same uh, steps or maybe they have taken the same path as you so it's going to be almost an no-brainer to talk about those things and how you can get better and how can you level up so it's only going to be the beginning because i see that there is a lots of light that is going to emanate from out of this relationship and i see that people that have been uh, maybe having this idea of what you deserve or maybe what your person deserves or what they themselves deserve just witnessing this connection that you're gonna have with this person is gonna open their eyes maybe to look at their own insecurities to look at their own limiting beliefs and it's almost like there is a beautiful revealing effect that uh, is gonna almost get initiated by you to getting together so as i have told you my dear this is a very um important connection but uh, especially with the last message it's not only for you but also for people that are going to be interacting with you and seeing how you have achieved this uh, like a beautiful relationship with your person and how you made it possible even so that you can uh, so that you can manifest this this marriage and you can manifest this person into your life and uh, again i'm saying <laughs> saying that again it's it's the same when it comes to your future spouse because i see that both of you are even if you do not believe in it uh, like directly or you don't have enough information about that or your future spouse but i see lots of manifestation um, energies in this in this reading so you're gonna manifest each other and uh, yeah people are gonna see that for themselves and uh, it, it is gonna initiate or almost be the catalyst in changing many people around you so that was when it comes to your part let's look into your future spouse's side 
and what are they gonna love about you so let's go okay we got the hierophant but the high priestess so with this high priestess what they love about you is that you can read them as an open book so as you can see in this, I hope that the camera is focusing and that you can see everything clearly. I'm using it for the first time, so I just I'm crossing my fingers uh, at this point. But what I see mostly out of this card is that you you are going to be cultivating lots of knowledge, uh, like as I have told you, even before meeting your person. And it's really is it's almost like gonna show even in your energy, in your aura, the way that you speak, the way that you carry yourself. You really are going to be in your own element. So I see that um, uh, you might be even uh, a more than spiritual, uh, not just uh, like looking uh, into what you can do or maybe how you can evolve. But I see that you might have um, some kind of a mystic side to you or you might be a psychic, you might uh, also like read tarot or maybe uh, you might uh, be called into uh, experimenting with tarot or maybe uh, other divination tools so you really are someone that is very intuitive and your intuition is only gonna accentuate with time especially when you're gonna be in a much more peaceful and harmonious uh, environment and I see that very clearly when you're gonna be married to, to your person so with those flowers in the background I, they see and they have witnessed lots of growth with you and this is something that they're gonna appreciate it's almost like every day or maybe every time that they're gonna have a deep conversation with you they have learned something new and they have discovered something new about themselves as well and it is going to be a very um, essential for them to have this connection because they feel like they are growing when they're with you they're not stagnant they're not uh, backing uh, down or maybe they're not uh, going backwards but they are going uh, upwards and they are leveling up just as much as you are so what are they gonna love about you so the both those <laughs> both those two cards they're giving me again this this vibe of um, manifestation so you see with this seven of cups it's almost like you dream things into reality or maybe um, from your visions you are able maybe to uh, realize certain things that many people are not going to be uh, able to do and it almost comes uh, effortlessly for you so you really have certain powers maybe that you haven't uh, right now discovered if you are not uh, right now watching and you feel like uh, I don't know what you're talking about but maybe with time maybe right now you're not seeing what you truly are or maybe your true capabilities and powers at this particular moment but I see that in the future uh, especially if you come across this video or maybe this uh, particular option in the future you might understand you might say yes uh, I have discovered that maybe I have certain dreams that have become reality or maybe Maybe that uh, uh, I have some feelings that uh, certain things are going to happen uh, and it is exactly what what have happened but what I see uh, coming back to your reading with Aishi with this two of swords I see that you are a very very reserved person and they're gonna love that about you it's almost like you have this sacred space between the both of you and there is really nobody absolutely nobody that is permitted inside and we have seen that already with your future spouse as well they're going to be very protective but with you you're gonna protect your relationship by being secretive about it so what uh, what is gonna happen between you and your future spouse what you are gonna talk about uh, it is really just between the both of you with this ace of cups what I have uh, felt when I when I have seen this card is that you made them believe in love again it's almost I see that uh, your future spouse might have uh, almost 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 lost any hope that they're gonna meet the one for them they're gonna meet this person where uh, with whom they're gonna feel a deep connection a deep soul connection but you have uh, <laughs> 
I'm hearing you have proved them wrong. You have proved them that love exists, that you're gonna be in this loving connection. And also that uh, uh, because with this with this particular uh, card, there is a cup that is overflowing with emotion, but there is also a pentacle that this dove is putting inside of that cup. So it's almost like uh, you have been helped into being together and your future spouse is gonna feel like there is something that is related to faith that is uh, that you or you are all almost meant to be together so i don't know how you're gonna need but there is something uh, that uh, your future spouse are gonna feel like uh, it relates to destiny or that you really are meant to be with each other uh, especially i'm hearing when it comes to the circumstances on how you're gonna meet so maybe it's gonna be uh, against all odds that you're gonna meet maybe the that uh, none of you um neither you or your future spouse are gonna be uh are gonna be uh maybe uh, going to a certain uh, place or uh, it, it is something that you're gonna do maybe one in your life and then you're gonna meet so something that uh, like there is very 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 small chances that you're gonna meet in this uh, new, like uh, in the circumstances where you're gonna meet so that's why they're gonna feel like uh, maybe even with this um, seven of cups maybe it, it's something that should be written about or something something that uh, comes out of a fairy tale so there is something that is almost uh, outwardly about you to being together in general <laughs> to be honest and also uh, especially when it comes to how they met you or maybe how they felt when they first saw you or they first started interacting with you with this um nine of swords in reverse maybe they have suffered from anxiety maybe they have suffered from overthinking when it comes to their daily life maybe they have a very stressful environment where they're working or uh, when it comes to people that they're interacting with but uh, you as i have told you have certain capabilities maybe also to heal other people or almost or almost to um I don't know if you're gonna do Reiki, I don't know if you're gonna uh, like look into energy healing or uh, even if it's uh, if it is uh, already something that is pretty much natural to you but uh, they're gonna feel like when they when they talk to you when uh, they, they are coming back home and they, they just sit down uh, where you are it doesn't matter if you speak or you don't or it, it could be just uh, around you just being with you it's almost like they can breathe again so um, definitely if right now or before you're gonna need maybe they um, and I, I have heard that already that maybe they are a little bit over overworked and uh, maybe even workaholic so uh, yeah uh, just this this new fresh air that you're gonna bring into your life they're gonna be like forever thankful that uh, you even interacting with each other because with those flowers it gave me also the um, uh, information of, of friendship or maybe the message of you two being friends before getting into a relationship so it's almost like they felt this appeasement with you even before you were in a romantic connection uh, together so let's get one more card So what they love, what are they gonna love about you is that you are someone that is uh, very adventurous and uh, there is almost two sides to you especially when uh, you are in your normal like everyday life and when you are maybe in an environment that is exciting maybe uh, when you are traveling or uh, even when uh, you are uh, seeing something that is very exciting to you so uh, it's almost like there is this uh, little child that comes out and starts jumping and starts laughing and starts enjoying uh, himself and I see that you have this side to you uh, even if you look because with this high priestess it's pretty much it symbolizes the lady the person that is uh, pretty much uh, graceful and eloquent but with this page of wands you have also this side that has fun and also you are not like stuck up in your um, uh, like in 
a status or maybe in your you do not over obsess with your looks but sometimes you just loosen up and enjoy uh, enjoy the moment enjoy the experience that you're experiencing or anything of the sort so let's get some more cards what is your future spouse going to love about you heredity and what I see with this thing is almost like there is this skeleton and there is a map and also there is gold just beneath it. So it's almost like you have the key to certain secrets or maybe you have the key to this person's... Uh, uh, I don't see it as wealth, as, like abundance as in wealth or money, but your, your person, it's almost, uh, especially with this... Um, moon in here so there is lots of mystical vibes around you i'm not even joking like this card as well only confirms it and with this map it's almost like you have certain secrets that maybe you're gonna share with your future spouse and they're gonna have so many aha moments with you it's unbelievable <laughs> And uh, I see that, especially with this three in this uh, like treasure, I see that your connection is gonna propose the both of you to uh, like very high horizons when you're gonna be together. So um, I already know for sure that you are a master manifester, but your person really are going to be uh, even um, like developing even more their capabilities to make their dreams a reality. So let's get one more card. Victory. And it came out reversed and I felt like I needed to, uh, to keep it in reverse. So with those flowers, I see that uh, for your person, uh, they're not going to feel like they need to prove themselves with you. They're not going to feel like they need to uh, accomplish lots of things that uh, are going to look shiny from the outside look or maybe from the outside world. Uh, when it comes to the both of you, it, it's a choice that you have made uh, like for better or for worse and they, they feel like you are a ride or die kind of person. So. Um, you aren't uh, what they're gonna love about you is that you're not gonna love them only in this state you're not gonna love them only when they're victorious when they're going to be bringing uh, like uh, the money home or uh, being at the top of their game but also because uh, you have developed your connection so much even before getting in a romantic connection together uh, they see you as as their best friend uh, no matter what no matter what if you're gonna be together if you you are not it's to that extent uh, you are together no matter what the status of your relationship is going to be you are meant to be each other's uh, support and each other's best body so <laughs> this is beautiful my dears let me get you one more card from this deck i felt like i needed to give you one more card so what are they gonna love about you two isolation and economy so what I see out of those two, because uh, here with all this blue and uh, with this isolation, I see that uh, maybe they, they, they have a very, very big dreams and they felt like it's something they needed to, they, to keep for themselves, especially because maybe they have uh, like lots of things to offer and they're keeping it a secret. They are not sharing it with anybody, maybe at, uh, like uh, from fear to attract certain people that uh, are opportunistic or that they're gonna take advantage of them but with this number 88 I see that there is a uh, pretty much an openness when it comes to the way that they communicate to you and it doesn't matter what they have or what they don't have it really does not matter all that matters is for you to be completely like an open book again we are coming back to the first message that we got in the second part of the reading you are an open book to each other so let me read what your card that you have chosen for your option actually says. So this is the Hosta, card, uh, Hosta flower. It says devotion and friendship. And I swear I don't see uh, the messages of the cards and I shuffle them for each of the options. And this is exactly what you have been talking about. You are first and foremost friends, you are buddies, but there is this devotion, this, this desire, this passion that has built up between the both of you. And it was a very conscious decision for you to choose to be together. So this is what I see for you, my loves. I'm wishing you all the best, sending you lots of love, and I will connect with you next time. Bye.
Hello my dear option number two, so if you have chosen the second card or that of the puppy, welcome guys to your reading, so we're gonna keep your card in there for a moment and we're gonna start right away with your side, so what are you gonna love about your future spouse and first of all we're gonna get one major arcana that is going to be giving us some first messages, so what are you gonna love about your future spouse? So communication, I'm hearing communication, they, they are ma a master communicator and they're also, uh, we're gonna take those two, and they're also someone that delivers, someone that is not all talk, someone that if they're gonna say that maybe they're gonna, this is a very random example, if they're gonna say that they're gonna do laundry at this particular, uh, like hour at this particular uh, exact moment this they're gonna do it yeah so they're not someone that is going to be saying yeah yeah, yeah i'm gonna do it and then uh, like uh, 10 years later the laundry is still lay, laying around this is not the person and you're gonna love that about them i can feel you my dear this is a very good quality to be honest and also what I see out of those two um, two cards is that this person only cares or maybe only uh, sees how to be better. It doesn't matter if they need to cut a old habit. It doesn't matter if they need to change uh, to be better or maybe to uh, even to let go of other people, uh, especially if they feel like they give, they have given them. I'm hearing one chance. So I see that this person they they are pretty um, decisive and assertive and if there's someone that is not good for them they yeah they have this rule they give people one chance of their they're gonna mess up i'm not talking about you because you are people make mistakes all the time and you're gonna be their spouse so it's something that is for the long run but i see mostly when it comes to friends or maybe when it comes to people that they interact with so this is a like no BS kind of person just so you know and you're gonna love that about them you're gonna see how courageous they are uh, if there is someone that is not good for them or if there is again a habit or um, maybe something that you yourself you do they're gonna also help you with this uh, magician uh, i'm just going to be giving you an example if uh, maybe you do not exercise regularly or you have trouble maybe going to the gym they're gonna like uh, i'm hearing bring the dream home <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> or how but but this is really what i heard it could be like investing in equipment and make sure that you're exercising together or it could be even like uh, they're gonna maybe uh, change it because uh, uh, the magician is all about alchemy as well so maybe change it in some kind of a fun game where uh, you're gonna uh, do lots of exercising it, it could be true um, um, like they're gonna buy as an example like the Wii or and you're gonna try uh, and uh, start playing games uh, that require physical activity so this is really what i see and i uh, especially when it comes to changing and uh, almost transforming they are very very creative into initiating positive change in themselves but also excuse me in you as well so Let's get some more cards. So what are you gonna love about your future spouse? Way too many. What are you gonna love about your future spouse? Let's get it. So what I see is that especially because this card got me the most out of those three and the message that I got is that you, the both of you especially in the household there is lots of cooperation between the both of you and I see that especially also uh, in correlation with this uh, Queen of Swords I see that in terms of what you need to do or what you're supposed to do so that you ha can be in a clean and a very uh, beautiful home life in general and uh, you're gonna be in charge of certain things and your future spouse is gonna be uh, in charge of certain things and there is no overlapping between the both of you and this clarity is going to be bringing so much peace of mind in your relationship and you really really are gonna appreciate that you're gonna love that uh, and also with this uh, queen of swords i see that 
maybe in your uh, past partners, uh, previous partners, or even in people that are around you, family, friends, maybe uh, you, you want things to go a certain way and then people uh, almost um, there is lots of back and forth when it comes to people that are around you uh, let me just give you again this example of cleaning so I don't know if it <laughs> it resonates with some of you but uh, this I, I'm getting this message very uh, strongly which is like maybe uh, you have uh, some siblings or maybe even parents that are a little bit messy and you feel like you always need to almost parent them or almost like talk about like the state of the house or maybe the state of the kitchen, the fridge or whatever but uh, your future spouse uh, you're gonna see eye to eye when it comes to those things because they're going to be organized and very clean themselves and uh, this uh, organization that you're gonna have in in the household also is going to be permitting also your future uh, children to um, uh, because they're gonna be brought up and raised in this very organized um, environment they're gonna adopt your same qualities and uh, yeah uh, I don't know why uh, I feel like uh, your home is going to be so beautiful so clean and so organized and it's going to be effortless it's not going to be stressing you out it's uh, and neither your future spouse because everything is going to be shared and everything is going to be clear uh, with this queen of wands I see that if you have been maybe reluctant into expressing yourself or sexually or maybe your sensuality was taking the back burner um, I see that your your future spouse when you're gonna be together uh, it's almost like you're gonna feel uh, a, li a little bit at ease with being sexual with being sensual with them and also with wearing certain things that are very attractive and very beautiful in the eyes of your future spouse so definitely uh, the physicality and the passion and the heat and this connection is going to be pretty much present um, I don't know what <laughs> Jesus, I don't know why I'm hearing that as well. Maybe there is something in particular. I don't know what it is. It could be uh, like anything and uh, this is a collective reading so it might be different from uh, one person to the other but there is something or maybe almost uh, uh, something that your future spouse is gonna say even in public. Uh, it might appear as something that is very uh, it's just a word but it's almost going to be a key that that triggers something or uh, it's almost you're gonna have some key words for <laughs> certain things or even uh, have your own secret language so there is something uh, that you're gonna love about them which is that uh, you, you it's almost like even uh, maybe uh, like um, a gesture or, or something uh, certain things that you're gonna have like together uh, that only the both of you are gonna understand <laughs> and you're gonna love that about your future spouse that you are able actually to have those uh, little intimate uh, and I'm hearing sexual uh, interactions even when people are, are around so let's get some more cards what are you gonna love about your future spouse it says in here enhancement sharing uh, what did I say <laughs> it's all about sharing between the both of you that was like since the beginning um, abundance expansion also fulfillment encouragement fertile uh, uh, soil and abundance so as I have told you your future spouse is a go-getter and uh, they are very ambitious and you see you're gonna see for yourself especially uh, I'm hearing like for some of you maybe you have met at a certain point in your life and maybe 10 years after or maybe uh, even five or like a considerable amount of time is gonna pass between the like until you're gonna meet again and you're gonna see a very big improvement that this person were able to implement in their life and uh, it's only going to be going up from there so maybe there is a change that they have implemented in the way that they see themselves and their reality so they have been through a very deep transformation that permitted them to go for 
uh, for, I'm hearing go for the money. I don't know if they're gonna start their own business or they're going to be very empowered or very determined to make something out of themselves. So lots of uh, growth that you're gonna witness uh, in your future spouse's life in general, but also when you're gonna be in a relationship together. Progress again advancement uh, um, acquiring uh, acknowledgement appreciation accomplishments acceleration regular gains and accentuates accentuated clarity so with this um, with this card what I see because I see a bit of differences between the, those two what I see is that it is something that both of you are gonna be on the same page when it comes to this particular point is that your family uh, you need to witness growth to feel fulfilled i don't know if it is already the case for you but this is almost going to be your module when you're going to be together and you're going to love that about your person maybe people that you have met in the past were not that ambitious or maybe they were settling for uh, for little and uh, they were uh, like um, wasting their time into uh, maybe enjoying some futile uh, entertainments or activities but with your future spouse you, you feel like you're gonna you can get somewhere or maybe you can uh, actually build something that is going to be almost uh, that is going to be staying there for generations to come so yeah i see that also you have a certain entrepreneurial uh, qualities to you so maybe you're gonna join your future spouse into building something new building a new business it could be even a second business i'm hearing so uh yeah uh, lots of uh drive uh, and this drive also is going to be fueled by this this passion also that you're gonna be having towards each other and i see lots i see quite a bit of, of passion okay so let's get into your future spouse's side so what are they gonna love about you so let's get one major arcana first just as the first part of the reading what are they gonna love about you so maybe option number two what are your future spouse gonna love about you two cards as well the fool and justice so what I see out of this, uh, like the first message that I heard is that you are not some a hoarder. You are not someone that collects things that don't matter. And I don't know if for, for your future spouse, they have suffered maybe uh, with other people that they had like tons and tons and tons of clothes, of shoes, of whatever. And if, um, for them, you are a light traveler. So I don't know if, if you... Uh, uh, if you actually uh, as an example when you're gonna decide to go on a trip you you know how to pack you know how to pack so that you don't bring like four suitcases with you uh, and also when it comes to the way that you prepare yourself it could be uh, like for going on dates you are someone that actually comes on time and even when you're going to be in a relationship together it it's not gonna take you uh, like days just to to get ready so they're gonna appreciate that very very much about you and uh, also the sense of fairness with you so if there is anything that needs to be shared it's shared in a fair way it's shared in a just way so also with this justice card um you seek fairness and justice even if it's against you so uh, if if you know that you have messed up messed up if you know that uh, maybe you shouldn't have said uh, certain things or maybe you shouldn't have uh, done uh, some things you apologize and this is really something that they're gonna love about you uh, you don't have a very big ego I'm not saying that ego is bad or good but you don't have an inflated ego or you you're not you don't uh, you don't behave as someone that is entitled but uh, it doesn't matter if you are a male or a female but i know that when it comes to my viewers like uh, the majority of you are females uh, 
you do not uh, take advantage of you being uh, your gender or you being in your uh, in any kind of situation just to get uh, the upper hand in uh, any kind of situation that you're gonna be in with your future spouse and this is really something that they're gonna love and appreciate about you so let's get two more cards i'm hearing two and here they are so, wow so you're all about progress progress as well you're all about going for that pentacle you're all about going for your own advancement in life yes and also with those skills i i see that you you are almost looking towards the same horizon and you see like this this hand she is putting the pentacle in the same way as this um knight of pentacles so you are slow and steady but you feel like there is tremendous change and tremendous progress uh, it doesn't matter if it's gonna take you one year two years ten years uh, it's all about making that progress and when you're gonna see yourself like 10 years before or maybe after 10 years you're gonna feel like it's a tremendous change even uh, even if uh, the change like from month to month is gonna appear as, as little but when you're gonna see it, uh, like your journey from start to finish you're gonna feel like it's almost a new life that was able to be open to you but for with your own efforts so something that you have built yourself and this is really the same energy that your future spouse is gonna have and also this is what they're gonna love about you because uh, being with someone that only wants to stay in a certain state and also buy certain things and almost dissipate and um, waste everything that you have built together on things that uh, do not matter once uh, like whatsoever um, this is a very very and you need to know that this is a very rare quality so uh, to not feel uh, this temptation to like uh, throw your money at things just because you have it you have that money so let's get some more cards okay two <laughs> so it says in here magnetic mirror and also money <sighs> what can i tell you so you two, when you're gonna be together, you're gonna be a magnet to money, to abundance. It's almost like a new chapter of uh, like uh, better days, brighter days is gonna be possible for the both of you. So I see that maybe one of you is gonna have those brilliant ideas and the other person is going to be more practical. So that you two being together, you're gonna make it happen in a real uh, way. But I see that it's almost, the, there is a complementary energy in the both of you to make uh, like big businesses. So I see lots of entrepreneurial energy in this, in this particular uh, option and uh, you're not going to be only uh, husband and wife but also uh, in husband and husband wife and wife it really doesn't matter in uh, what your uh, relationship is going to be but uh, you're also going to be business partners <laughs> so this is what I see <laughs> let's get some more cards so what uh, this wanted to come as well so in here with this family I see that uh, what they're gonna love about you is your generous side so you can see this this tree there is lots of family that is uh, depicted in this card but there is like the fruits of this tree are hearts so you are a very loving person and it doesn't matter what is the status that you're gonna have it, you're not going to be changing so your core is going to be staying the same like the same loving compassionate beautiful person that they have first met when you're going to be established when you're going to be in that uh, like higher status you're going to be the same person money is not something that actually changes you and this is something that they're going to love and appreciate very much about you so let's get one more card solution and responsibility so what I see out of those two cards because there is here the, the solar plexus which is all about your drive and your motivation and also with this heart uh, this green which is all about the heart chakra 
I see that uh, this uh, dynamics that you're gonna uh, like implement between the both of you in your relationship is gonna fuel you with lots of energy. So um, as I have told you, it doesn't matter if you have a mansion or if you have a little apartment, but your work is not gonna feel overwhelming. You're not gonna feel like I'm the only one who's taking the responsibility on my shoulders and the other person is putting one foot uh, on the other in just watching TV, you are in it together. Uh, the solution comes with this new moon which is being open to each other and also including each other in any kind of decision that you're gonna be uh, like uh, facing or maybe if there is like uh, if you need to I'm hearing like for some of you maybe there is a possibility to change like your country or maybe your uh, where you are living but I see like they see the solution or uh, in the both of you taking responsibility over your lives, over your decisions, and also of you being in a relationship together. So you are a responsible person and your person are responsible themselves. So maybe they felt like they were battling with uh, some kind of procrastinating and lazy people in the past. And just meeting you and being with you is going to be so... Uh, appeasing for them because they feel like uh, this drive you have it as well this motivation you have it as well and this is really what they need and uh, i see that it's vice versa i see that uh, it, it is the same for you as well so let's get uh, into the card that you have chosen for your option and what does it say this is the poppy this beautiful card it says sleep peace and it's also this this um flower is actually a sedative uh, I don't know if, if I'm pronouncing it correctly but with this uh, sleep and peace I see that your uh, home as I have told you really is going to be um, a place where you're gonna feel at peace but also with this sleep I see lots of tranquility inside the house so there is uh, really not a lot of uh, uh, even when you speak together when uh, like you have certain conversations or anything of the, or you just like randomly speak to each other uh, like your volume is, is pretty much um, I want to say normal because um, Maybe you have dealt with some people in the past that, that uh, they can just speak to you and it sounds like they were screaming and, and it's something that almost uh, irritates you. Not that you don't want to hear them or anything of the sort, but you really appreciate calmer environment. And this is really what I see when it comes to your house, your home. You're going to feel like you can rest. You can just be in, uh, at peace and also uh, there is uh, not a lot of noise so I don't see that your home is going to be uh, noisy even when you're gonna have kids I don't know why I feel like even your kids they're not going to be screaming around and maybe throwing things uh, it's almost like they're gonna see how the home is and they're gonna be uh, almost in the same energy of just taking a deep breath and being tranquil and being at peace so this is what i see for you my dear option number two thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye hello my dear option number three so if you have chosen the third flower or the card of the camellia welcome guys to your reading so let's start with you my dears and what are you going to love with your uh, about your future spouse let's get uh, one card one major arcana so that we can get some first messages what are you gonna love about your future spouse oh the hangman and the emperor so uh, i heard like the first thing that i heard is that your future spouse are going to be a person with high morals uh with um lots of integrity and you're gonna see that for yourself maybe you're gonna see them in a certain uh, situations where uh, they're gonna be maybe uh, like many people are gonna be tempted to uh, maybe lie or do certain things that are not very ethical but your future spouse as it is someone with very very high standards and also with very high morals and it's almost you got you're gonna feel like uh, 
how 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 is it possible like uh, it doesn't matter what what is the thing that is going to be tempting them or what is the situation that they're going to be in but it's almost like they're going to be always always uh, choosing the, like uh, uh, picking the option of uh, what they believe in so they have a very set they are very set in their beliefs and it doesn't matter if they're gonna change them maybe there's something that is gonna prove them that maybe they, there is a change that needs to be implemented but when it comes to their core um, and like they do not back down maybe from speaking out when when they should or maybe if they if they're gonna see something that is uh, unfair or unjust there are someone that actually uh, like uh, storms out and uh, like uh, they, I don't know what I'm feeling that uh, un injustice touches them uh, in a very deep way. So maybe uh, if they're gonna see, uh, as an example, just the two of you walking down the street and they're gonna see that maybe there is a homeless man uh, and someone is, is treating them badly or someone is calling them names, they are the kind of person that is going to be actually speaking out and uh, like coming into like to the help of this person. and. Excuse me. You you really are gonna love that about. Excuse me. Uh, love that about your future spouse, and I'm I'm seeing like very clearly that that they're gonna be almost like your idol or someone that you're gonna look up uh, to. So let's get some more cards. Look at that, as I have told you, like they're gonna storm and uh, go and defend people that need to be defended. And with this Knight, uh, knight of Swords, it's like the warrior kind of, uh, of person. So I don't know if they're going to be, I'm hearing environmentalist or someone that has, uh, that is an advocate, someone that uh, is already maybe involved in uh, certain charities or certain uh, like organizations that deal with people that are in need or deal with people that need help so you they might be uh, this is just an example they might be as a uh, a lawyer and uh, in their spare time or maybe they they uh, choose like a certain uh, like hours during the week where they give their services for free for people that they need uh, like their services and uh, they don't have enough money or enough resources so that they can uh, actually benefit from from those services so let's get two more cards what are you gonna love about your future spouse? Wow, it's all about speaking up and also you're gonna feel like you have met a good person. You're gonna see your future spouse as actually a good person and, and their heart is pure so this is really what I feel because I see that their cup that they're gonna give you their love their emotion their devotion uh, is something that uh, is innocent is something that is pure and it's something that is almost I'm hearing transparent so when they're gonna tell you that they love you like every word that they're gonna say they're gonna mean it 100% so your person uh, really um, uh, and also with this judgment, I see that your person, they, they are, maybe they have learned as well, I'm hearing, that uh, to speak their truth. If they feel like something is needs to be spoken, if they need that they, they uh, if they feel like they need to share something, they are going to do it no matter what. So this is, uh, I'm hearing as well, a very trustworthy person. A very, like, wow, wow. So... Uh, this is the first time that I'm seeing it out of the, uh, this two of cups card. So there is this cup that this man is, is trying to give to this woman, but before doing doing so, it's almost like they're reaching out with their hands so that they can actually reassure the other person. You don't have to do anything. I'm just sharing my emotions and my love with you. This is really how I feel about you and I'm, I'm not pressuring you in any kind of way. So this is also what I feel like you're gonna love about your future spouse is that uh, it doesn't matter because I see that they might actually uh, 
confess their love uh, and maybe you're not going to be um, expecting it or you're not going to be uh, it's gonna cut you off guard but they're gonna be very reassuring to you they're gonna tell you that you don't need to do anything this is just that I needed to share that with you because I felt like you needed to know but it take your time and and uh, if it is going to be the case that you're gonna fall in love with me back it is good if it's not just know that I would want the best uh, for you and also uh, for you to be in love with, with with like the other person as well so uh, how can I explain that so it doesn't matter if it's with them or not I'm hearing but uh, they would want you to be in a loving connection no matter like it, it doesn't matter if it is with them or not and this person, my dear, is like, wow. <sighs> yeah, I, I, it's almost like I'm, I'm lost of, of, of wow, I, I can't even speak because this, this energy is, is so, so pure, my dears. And I, I hope that you're going to feel that like throughout this reading because uh, this is really what I feel it's something that is pretty new and something that you cannot encounter like one or twice or even uh, not even once in your whole life so this is a, a very precious person and uh, I see that the love that they're gonna be giving you is going to be reciprocated but the way that they're gonna go about it and the way that you're gonna uh, see this person also how they navigate life and navigate relationships uh, as, I, as I have told you already, you really are going to be putting them on a pedestal because I I would like to be honest <laughs> because this this person they they are uh, very rare. So this is really what what I can tell you. So let's get uh, some more cards. What are you gonna love about your future spouse? So it says in here the young uh, young bride. So it's uh, it's a situation uh, a compromising situation, a um, victim of seduction, manipulation, and low self esteem. So um, I'm going to be giving you the first message, and then I'm gonna move on to the next uh, because I'm hearing two, like I'm seeing two scenarios here. So the first one, my dears, if you are going to be in, um, how do we say it in English? Uh, like uh, if it's uh, if your marriage is gonna organize, be organized by your family. I'm sorry, I I forgot uh, how I I actually. Uh, how it, uh, it actually uh, it's called um, but I see that uh, even if it is going to be the case they're going to be willing to uh, free you from your chains so you're not you're not supposed to be the wifey you're not supposed to be the one that has a certain role or certain criteria so that you can fit in a mold but uh, even if you're going to be um, thinking about that or maybe feeling that you need to do that but your person are going to be putting you in an environment where you feel like you can actually be yourself you can just be at ease you don't have to fit uh, or maybe uh, uh, like glue certain norms or glue so certain um, uh, criteria on you just because maybe your marriage was traditional or maybe your your marriage was um, Uh, I cannot remember the word, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try anymore. So, <laughs> so you got the first message. The second one is that maybe you're gonna have, uh, especially if you're gonna meet this person and be boyfriend girlfriend first, and then uh, and start dating before being in uh, a committed relationship and uh, mar getting married afterwards. Maybe you're gonna uh, before meeting this person, you can you're gonna have those ideas about marriage or maybe those ideas about relationships that are committed a long term 
and maybe there were certain people that wanted actually to lock you up in a, a committed connection in the past and you felt like there was no way out or maybe they, they, they were controlling and I see that this person uh, with this person you you're gonna feel like you don't have to be fearful you don't have to establish or um, and I'm here and also re-establish boundaries over and over again without people trying to transpass them or try to um, put you in uncomfortable situations but this person actually uh, is gonna show you that relationships can actually be different relationships can can be uh, going with the flow without uh, putting any strains on, neither on you or on themselves so let's get determination it says in here resolution um, interior uh, firmness uh, no compromise uh, yeah so uh, with this uh, determination and with this card I see that uh, your person when they set their mind on, on something they do not back down and do, they go for it until the end and also I see that they have a very very strong character and uh, almost like um, I don't know if they're gonna have maybe a certain status or maybe certain uh, kind of job where people really are going to be paying lots of respect they're going to be very much respected uh, in their job in their community and people really when when they're gonna interact with them it's it's with someone important it's it's with someone that actually matters so this is really what I'm hearing but for them it's almost going to be the opposite they don't see people as uh, yes this person matters in this person there they don't have nothing so they don't matter for me uh, your person they're gonna respect people equally they're gonna see people on the same level and uh, even if they're gonna have lots of money or maybe a certain status in life they're not going to be seeing people that uh, they are not as fortunate as, as them as being lower or as them being superior so this is what I see for uh, you and what you are gonna love about your future spouse but let's see right now what are they gonna love about you so again let's get one major arcana so what are they gonna love about you my dear option number three Okay, the tower. Sorry guys, I needed to change the battery. And so yeah, let's continue reading. <laughs> so with this tower card, the second message I got actually is that uh, your future spouse are gonna see you as someone that is very very uh, exciting very sexual and also they're going to be very much physically also attracted towards you so maybe uh, people that they have met in the past or even people that they have encountered like very randomly they they uh, they didn't feel this this spark with them or they didn't feel that uh, that passion that they're gonna feel towards you and uh, this is something really that they kind of love about you that, that because maybe their connections in the past they were a little bit dull and there is lots of excitement with you there is lots of also discovering new things it could be new cultures it could be even like between the both of you uh, that you come from different background or there is that there is something that is different between the both of you and it's almost like a very drastic change in terms of people that they knew in the past or people that they normally dated so definitely i see some kind of uh, change in perspective or change in uh, an environment as well so maybe they're gonna move towards like the place where you are in right now or uh, something is gonna change in their life pretty uh, drastically when you two are gonna be together but it, it is a very positive change because obviously right now we're looking into um, what they're gonna love about you so um, you really bring uh, most and foremost lots of excitement 
and also joy and uh, happiness into this person's life so let's get three more cards yeah so definitely there is an ending and i feel like this person can finally let go of certain hurts that have happened in the past so i see we have seen already the beautiful nature of the person that you're gonna marry but uh right now it's almost like a new chapter where there is this connection that is almost like protecting them from people that are pretty harsh or people that uh like uh, they take advantage of their good nature so you see this man in here he's laying down completely exhausted and he's stabbed with all kind of like 10 swords and you can see that like how harsh this um a card actually looks but they are departing from this energy when they are around you and also they can see beautiful horizons and when it comes to your relationship so uh, it could be that you enjoy the same things or maybe you are the same uh, caring and, and same compassionate souls together and we have seen that already with the two of cups there is a deep connection that actually links you together and they feel like right now they can just rest right now they don't feel like they need to look uh, up their shoulders and uh, they uh, and to expect maybe the other person to do certain things that are shady so this is really what uh, they love about you they love that they can be themselves but at the same time they're not fearful that you uh, there are certain betrayals or certain uh, negative things that might happen in the f uh, in the future so with this um with this star in reverse so especially if it, uh, the message uh, is gonna be for you when it comes to your future spouse having a higher status uh, you see them as a human being you, you don't see them as some as this star that you just want to grab and put it in your pocket but uh, with you they feel like you see them like you don't give them this uh, privilege uh, so i don't know if uh, people around them they were uh, having this mask on or try to portray themselves a certain way so that they can uh, like get certain advantages out of them but for you you just behave with them just like anybody else just like any man any woman that you have met and you don't give them like this uh, high privilege just because they are coming from a certain family or that they have a certain amount of money in their bank uh, bank account so yeah because it is almost like a continuation because you are yourself very independent you feel like you have established a lot and also your future spouse are going to be seeing you as such you are very independent and you don't really depend on them just to make your life better just to make maybe uh, your your uh, like material world uh, like it better in any kind of way you there is nothing really that they can give you or provide for you that you can do it yourself but uh, uh, even if they're gonna do a lot for you and this is something that uh, we have already seen in the first option uh, first part of this reading but with this card it's almost like it's complementary it's not something that is necessary for you it's not something that is essential but although you appreciate it you don't really depend on it so let's get some more cards clairvoyance and late so with this card i see that um, maybe if you're gonna be married in a later point in your life maybe in your 30s especially if in your community it's uh, supposed to be a little bit late or uh, something of the sort or uh, what they're gonna love about you is that you are able to wait and you are capable to wait for the right things for you to happen so you are not rushing things you are not uh, just being with them or being with anybody else just for the sake to be in a relationship but you know what kind of person you would want to be with you know what kind of relationship you would want to build and you are ready to wait for the right person for for the right connection to be actually uh, to make the decision to commit and to make the decision to level up this relationship into maybe uh, uh, a commitment or uh, because here we, we are talking about marriage even marriage in the future so let's get some more cards what are they gonna love about you might be option number three 
opposition so again there is something different between the both of you and it is something that is going that they're gonna appreciate very much so you could have different ethnicities you could have maybe some certain things that are completely different and not many people actually see a couple that is like you especially in your community i'm hearing it like uh, again <laughs> And uh, with this number six, I see that you're gonna open your their eyes into things maybe that they haven't experienced before, or that uh, they they pretty much did not uh, were not accustomed to. So uh, this is just an example. You could uh, uh, this is really the example that I'm uh, like I'm getting right now. Uh, they could uh, have lived in a privileged home where they have never maybe done certain tasks and maybe we with you they're gonna learn certain things that for you like of course uh, you, you should know that like uh, uh, it could be uh, doing laundry or maybe uh, like uh, ironing your clothes or but this this person there are certain things that are going to be a very uh, like everyday tasks that for them they they really are not even gonna know where to start so <laughs> it's almost like you, you're gonna uh, expose them to certain things that everyone uh, like 99% of the worst population are actually doing in the daily basis but for them it, it's something new <laughs> for some reason so let's get one more card economy and with this number eight I see that uh, especially because here the, there is the full moon it doesn't matter what kind of status or what kind of economic situation that you're gonna be in before and when you're gonna meet your future spouse and even after you're gonna be in this mindset of being abundant you're gonna be if, it doesn't matter if you have a little but that little actually is everything that you need and everything even that you want so uh, there is nothing really that to compare between two people especially when it comes to finances and money but when they're gonna see you they're gonna see this very loving person that really it doesn't matter what is your situation or your circumstances you are at peace with your environment and also um, you don't they, they don't feel the need in you so maybe lots of people have uh, had this energy of uh, maybe I need you to buy me this I need you to do this to me I need you there is nothing that you can do yourself and I'm giving you another example maybe uh, you are pretty resourceful and also you have this uh, uh, very practical um, like you are gifted in in many kind of ways so as an example if there is a problem with the sink uh, in your home or you have a leak or anything of the sort uh, you are capable to do it yourself yes your future spouse is gonna help you but they're gonna feel like yes uh, they're, uh, my person they're grateful they're thankful but if I wasn't there they're not gonna be lost they're not gonna be uh, like completely uh, out of whack they, they can do it themselves so let me give you one more uh, message when it comes to the card that you have chosen for your option and it says in here love affection and admiration we have seen the admiration many times already so i know that you're gonna admire each other very much and with this affection and love i see that you're gonna be very affectionate towards each other and also with this beautiful camellia i see that you're gonna exchange maybe simple things simple gifts that are going to be uh, like so meaningful for the both of you so i see that your future spouse might uh, enjoy or maybe might celebrate uh, maybe something that you're gonna uh, like uh, make with your hands or maybe something it could be making uh, a scarf or maybe knitting a scarf or something of the sort they uh, they're gonna see it as the most the most valuable gift that they have ever received so your person they really uh, see beyond just the material uh, the material aspect of things and they know and they see that you are the same as well so this is what i see for you my dear option number three thank you so much for watching i'm sending you lots of love and i will connect with you next time bye